On the NoSilicast, we're all very security conscious, thanks to Bart Bouchatz and his Security Bits segment he does on every other show. One of the things we've talked about a little bit, but we haven't really dug into, is the YubiKey from a company called Yubico, which can give you some enhanced security. And I've got Karen, let's see, I'm going to get it right, Karen Muskoff to tell us about the YubiKey. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for stopping by. Um, so we're really, really excited about the YubiKey. We've been around since 2007. We think of the YubiKey as kind of the key to your online security and your online account. So just as you would think about a key to your house or a key to your car, this is the key to your online accounts to keep you safe online. Okay. So I see a lot of little devices. I see actually seven different YubiKeys here yep. of different varieties. But just before we talk about what they look like, they're, they're uh, USB-C, they're Lightning, they're um, USB-A, we've got NFC. But what's the use case? How do you use it? What do you use it for? Yeah, the main, the main use case that I tell people to use it for is to secure things like their Gmail, their social media. So if you're talking to a consumer specifically, yes. those are the things they're going to care about the most, right? They're going to care about their bank accounts. They're going to care about their Gmail. They're going to care about nobody hacking into their X account or into their Instagram or any other social accounts too. So what this does is, is a second factor authentication. So it replaces like an SMS text or it replaces an authenticator app. And um, it allows you to authenticate into um, your accounts very securely. So and use it instead of an authenticator app. Absolutely. So, okay. so if I'm using 1Password today, which I live and die by, but yeah. this, is, uh, this is a step beyond what that so can do. 1Password is a great example. What we tell people to do is secure 1Password with the YubiKey. So you can still use 1Password. Use that to generate your passwords. It's a great product. We, work, we partner with them. Then we tell people secure that 1Password with that YubiKey. And then that way, if anybody's ever trying to hack into your 1Password, they can't get in because the YubiKey is securing it. See, I see. Okay. I can so, show you how to use it, if that yes, would be helpful. That That'd would be, a be good great. Okay. okay. So this is an, uh, an audio podcast that also yeah. some people watch video. Okay. So talk through what you're doing as we walk through. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So we're going to use an example of how to do it in Gmail. Um, so I'm going to lean in. <laughs> so She's I on an it. iPad here. Uh, actually, in Microsoft Surface. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh. Well, we'll allow it. We'll allow it. Okay. Um, so I'm in, going into a Gmail account right now. I'm clicking on my account to log in. So it's asking me for my password, so I'm going to put my password in. We're not watching. We're not memorizing. I'm putting my password in right now. Please don't. <laughs> I won't be tricked, and neither will the YubiKey. Um, now it's saying it's making sure that it's me. So what it's doing is starting to authenticate to the YubiKey right now. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, so the YubiKey is already plugged into I the plugged side. I it in already just for the example, um, and now it's telling me to touch my security key. So the YubiKey is plugged in, I'm touching my security key, it just authenticated me, just like that. And I'm just clicking that, and it's now going into my Gmail. So rather it than... Entered, it entered not your, uh, not your username or password, but your second factor authentication. I entered in a, pass I entered in a password to start with, um, which was getting me into the account, because again, the YubiKey is your second factor, or your multi-factor. So that's the backup to getting into your password. So that's how it authenticates that it's you. And so now I'm in my Gmail. So she's got it on her keychain here. Actually, she, hers is all blinged up. It's got little I sparkles have, it's on. It's called a Yubi style. Of course, I have to have it unique and original. So I have made that um, very golden sparkly. And it even <laughs> it even lit up when you yeah, uh, that's authenticated. Yeah, the things about it. So you know that it is authenticating when it lights up and you touch it. So you know that it's happening. So is that a fingerprint sensor? This is a fingerprint sensor, but it's not biometric. So we do offer a biometric key. This is a sensor for your touch. So it's just so I could I could have touched it and it would have worked? Um, you could have touched it. If it's authenticated to your machine, to your accounts, it um, has to be authenticated to your products that you're going, or your, into your accounts that you're but going But if it's into. not biometrics, how does it know it's you and not me? Um, well, you would have, um, you're logged into your account, so you're logging in with your password and with your key, so you'd have to have those things, to, two things together to make it work. Okay, so, so just this is an artificial situation because yeah. you were standing here, exactly. having put in your username and password, and then, but I could have touched it. You could have touched it because we're having a demo to show you. Well, you're having like. a worse day because I have a gun to your head or something. Correct, yeah. yeah. So you um, have to have um, the key authenticated to you, but the biometric is that to that same point. This is a true biometric. Let's, let's show that to the camera here. So, so you've got another YubiKey, and this one actually has a fingerprint sensor. It like this. It's a fingerprint sensor, and so this holds up to, I believe it's eight fingerprints, maybe ten fingerprints, so you can use your fingers, all your fingers if you want, to record it. 
um, and then it's touching it that way. So it just depends on the form factor that you like to use um, and what people are prefer. So that would take it up a notch in security, I would think? It's the same um, same protocols on the inside. Um, it's just a different form factor in how people like to touch and how people like to use their keys. All the keys do something slightly different. You were asking about the lineup of keys that we have. So let's work um, our way down the, down the line. So the one you just did Those are biometric. Biometric um, with so USB-C. C and biometric A. Biometric USB-A. Yep. And these are um, the US, or these are security key series. So these are our entry point security key. This is what we recommend for um, consumers or small businesses as well. These keys start at $25, so it's a really low cost point entry. Um, but what's the difference in the technology between these and the So they all, biometric? one of the things about this is they have pass keys all stored in them, which is good. But the biometric is just going to have a deeper um, security that typically an enterprise would use um, to okay. be securing on the back end. So the, these lower end ones, that's that's the kind that you have on your keychain? That's the kind I have out use. there, yeah. So yep. then again, this, there's three of them here because it's USB C, one's USB A, yeah, and this one's this USB C is just a and different, Lightning. Exactly, ah. exactly. So people are transitioning between uh, old and new. Yep, yep, that's exactly right. All right. Now you got two teeny little. Now these are my. Here. These are always. I always call these my favorites. These are the Nanos. So these are the um, YubiKey Nano. If you can see that. That is like the right size there. of my tooth. It's tiny. It's tiny. The use case scenario for this is really um, putting it into your laptop or putting it into your desktop and having it there. So it's nice and convenient. It's almost flush with your machine. And so then you can just touch it and have it there. So I keep mine in when I'm working during the day. I take it out at night. I put it in a secure place just in case somebody were to, you know, break in and grab my laptop. I have my um, YubiKey separate from that. So when you go to authenticate, you still have to tap it, right? You still have to tap it. But one of the things that's really important that I didn't mention is you don't have to tap it all the time. So once you've authenticated to your accounts and to your phone or your device or whatever the device you're using, you only have to every now and then re-authenticate to show that it's still you. Um, so it's a nice convenience. So if, for example, if you were to get like an SMS text for authentication, you do that every single time you're authenticating into your Gmail or into whatever account it is. With the YubiKey, you don't have to do that. It's, um, so this helps people stop using SMS. If you could just talk to all of the banks in the world that for some reason use SMS, I'd really like you to fix that one. <laughs> <laughs> we would like all the banks in the world to start using YubiKeys too because it really truly is a safe for um, technology to um, secure your accounts. Now you gave us two of these uh, YubiKeys and you said you recommend people have two keys. And why We always recommend somebody have a backup. If you lose your first key, um, you need to have that backup key to be able to log in. If you don't want to have two keys, you can back it up with an SMS, you can back it up with an authenticator app. There are other ways to back but it up too. You're kind of defeating the purpose when you do that. We always recommend the two keys, exactly. Right, right, right. Yeah. Well, this is very cool. So if people want to find this, I assume they go to ubico.com, U-B-I-C. CIO. Yep, uvco.com. Uh, really appreciate your work here. Thank this is you. Fantastic. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for stopping by.